Gary here. Now, um, today's tutorial is real simple. It's how to open an ISO application, um, an ISO file that you've downloaded without actually having to burn it to a CD. Now, I've been to a lot of torrent sites and I've read a lot of comments that you guys leave behind. Um, some comments like, uh, man, this torrent is broken. It's not opening. What's, what's wrong? And after reading those um, comments, I've actually still went along and downloaded the same torrent that you guys were complaining about and it, it works pretty fine to me um, one way you can open up a torrent file without actually having to burn it to a CD is by going to where first you gotta go to where your save your, your save file is at I'm in Windows 7 right now and I'm sure it's in the exact same spot if you're using Windows um, Vista you could do the same thing with Windows 7 you just have I mean with Windows XP you just have to find where you saved your file at now you simply go to where your file is saved and if you're running Windows 7 or Vista your file will look a lot like this one right here you simply right click and you go to open with and go to WinRAW there you go the file is open now all that's left for you to do is either go to auto run or you can go to setup and what this will do it will basically extract the file to your desktop and then automatically run it all that's left for you to do now is to follow the installation process, follow it step by step, and your file should be relatively simple to install. Now, um, another way another way you can do it is by downloading a nifty application like um, ImageBurn. ImageBurn is a simple, easy um, application to use. Um, just remember, for you guys who have like if you download a file that's about six gigs, right? You cannot use the regular flimsy um, CDs. You have to use a double dual-layer disc or just a dual-layer disc. But no, a dual-layer disc is like four gigs. A double dual-layer gives you about eleven, six, eight, somewhere. I think eight gigs around there. So um, you simply grab your disc and you open up ImageBurn. You click on Write Image File to Disc and you go to Search you find your image, this is my image right here, you click open and you set your speed to however um, you want to burn it some people say the slower it is the better but it automatically it really depends on your your burner um, usually I set mine to 4 or 5 and just simply click um, write and it will just go ahead and burn your disk um, where you find WinRAW is you open up your browser would it be Firefox or Internet Explorer or Safari doesn't matter and you come up here to the search bar and you type in www.download.com and you come to the search um, bar up here in the website and you type in WinRAW now if you're running a 32-bit operating system like I am um, you just simply click on that. If you're running a 64-bit right here, you can click on that and just simply download it. It's relatively easy to install. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Um, if you don't know what operating system you have, just simply come to your, your taskbar, hit your, your start button, and go to computer, right-click on computer, go to properties, click on properties, and system information will come up see right here I'm running a 32-bit operating system that'll tell you if you're running a 32 or a 64-bit operating system or higher anyways that's it that's how you open up a ISO file without actually having to burn an image to a, a CD well if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment